Dela Wright, my envious. Welcome. So, report reaching us right now as it is rumored and alleged and speculated is that um, the um, uncle to Olori Naomi, who is really pushing for freedom for Olori Naomi. You have heard this drama about an uncle that came from Australia that has always been in the life of Olori Naomi. You and I know that not, not much is said about their dad. So, what that may mean is that the man may not have necessarily been there for them. But they said this uncle has always been there for them through thick and thin and um you know uh, that in fact when she decided to go into ministry the uncle was really pushing for her to go to school that she actually started um the university and she dropped out because of the call of god but however see what god has done in her life i do know that uh because of this thing with the only of affairs some people might be questioning what god can do in the life of a person that they and god has called but you and i will agree that nami has led a very good life and god is very faithful. This may look like one um, a shortcoming, but you know that um, it is also said that a, a what is this thing that they say that a um, when things like this happen, it is happening because of a greater um, growth. Okay, okay, so. Let's go to what this is about. They said, um, as um, the customary court in Akure uh, tend to have turned them down, asking them to go and settle in court because they cannot um, sit and begin to question their oba. You and I, you know that um, this shouldn't come as a surprise to you. Yoruba people are people that are trained to respect um, 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 the elders and they do not joke with their obas. They are always like, they agree with their obas, okay? And so I I do really understand why this case has gone on and on and on, and then nothing comes out of the customary court in Akure. So as we heard what is going on, if the information is true, is that they, they moved that kid, case, they have taken it to a customary court in Abuja. So I don't know how it works in Nigeria. Is it where you go married that you can do the customary court or you can take it to any court in Nigeria? If you know that that, please um, put it down the comment section, okay? And so now a lot of people have been asking, did they get married in court? No, it doesn't matter. From what I have heard, they say traditional marriage, anything traditional, they deal with it in customary court because, of course, they have been asking time and time again for that freedom, and the freedom was not forthcoming. That was why they thought that the best people to deal with this would be the people at the customary court. But as we heard, they said, no, they cannot question their over. That is not to say the Oba is above the law, but they say that this happens to be a matter that could be treated at home. They should go and find a way around it, work out modalities for them to sort this matter at home. And this is something that has been there for a very long time. And Olori Naomi's uncle wants that freedom for Olori Naomi. So what we heard right now, if the information is true, they say she, I mean, he is um, um, threatening to, you you know, um, um, you know, call it a press conference. Okay. She's going that he is going to grant a press conference conference over this case. Now, now in Abuja, granting a press conference is as easy as anything. Like you will see them, uh, NTA, AIT, ITV, or they will be all over the place. And for a case like this, Ahmad, you have given them food to eat, you know. And so the uncle used that as a yastic, like that he is not just making it a case since he has tried for this to be you know um settled amicably and and KBSC does not want he has given respect he has gone to the council of Yoruba uh, chiefs and all of that and and KBSC doesn't want it to be settled amicably that he is going to grant a press conference and that is exactly what the only of Ife do not want as we are hearing if the information is true they said that the only of Ife really really became really like he grew weak upon hearing that this guy is ready to grant a press conference and now the guy is a pastor and they said if you look at him you know this kind of pastor we know degree here what okay he's very bold 
he, he is outspoken and he is. He came to Nigeria for a mission and he said he's not going to live until that mission is accomplished. I do know that a lot of people are saying, look, oh, bros, don't take this thing like this. Eh? It's your niece and the husband. Nah. You're doing as if you never wanted the man before in his in her life. And the way you're taking it is like you're more serious than Olori Naomi. And they said, when um, um, this... Um, uh, uh, stuff will come where people will say that uh, the man is more serious than Olorina. Nami will say no, that she is already exhausted, that she needs to go. She doesn't want to hear anything. And they say that is what is going on. So right now, as we are hearing if the information is true, we are hearing that um, KBSC has, upon hearing that the man said he is going to grant a press conference, they said um, KBSC has um, uh, invited them back into the palace. So I don't know when they are supposed to have that meeting, but as soon as the information gets to me, of course, you know, I'll bring it right here. So that KBSC has invited them back to the palace. Now, this invitation, is it like he is going to give a date for for them to go and um, nullify everything or he's going to try and uh, speak um, to Lori Naomi again or what is he going to try and do this time we don't know but you know as soon as I get the information I will bring to you and they say um, even Paropo, Paropo is saying that Naomi should take it easy that Naomi should that um, you will not follow a um, uh, uh, the length of a snake to set fire. If you follow the length of a snake to, um, I mean, sorry, the length of a rope to set fire, you will burn the yam ban, okay? That's an African uh, adage that Paropo told um, Olori Nami that she will not follow the length of the rope to set fire because if she follows the length of the rope to set this fire, that she is going to burn the yam ban. And, you know, that's a very powerful adage. And so this is it. I haven't greeted you guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Delaram. I bring you fresh and spicy just from the south. It's still on the royals. How are you guys doing? I appreciate you so much. I love you. I share a group well with my people. You have to subscribe, Kylie. Go ahead. Hit that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on the notification bell and please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up i appreciate each and every one of you so much thank you for always being here now um so this is what is going on. They said um, the owner of Ife has invited them back into the palace. And of course, everybody's hoping that this invitation is going to yield something. So our ears are all on the ground to hear what the invitation is all about. As soon as I get that information, I'm going to bring it here to you. Do not forget, these are all alleged, rumored, and speculated information making the rounds on social media.